working with one of these just test users who just have one or a handful of permission groups assigned, it's pretty easy. So if I, for example, jump into that and I look into my test user, I easily can see this test user itself only has this basic permission information and the inherited assigned plus the base rights I cannot change and nothing other else. So if I have to figure out where some permissions are set, um, I like to say, the number of possible places where I have to look at, it's pretty limited, especially because we have here only three or, yeah, okay, three groups assigned I have to look at. The base right is something I have to ignore. What happens if I get, for example, something like the Hervik account that exists as well? And as you can see, the Hervik account has many, many, many of these permission groups assigned. And I now want to figure out why something happens as it happens. To do so, in this product, there is a permission simulator somewhere integrated, and that allows me to simulate a specific permission situation. To perform such a simulation, what I have to do is I have to move to the rights editor. And to do so, I just leave here the system users, and I select one of my permission groups and jump to the right editor. In the right editor, I can step to simulation, and there I can start a new simulation. If I click next, the first thing what I have to define is what type of permissions I like to simulate. And I can select one or maybe two or three groups to figure out, for example, how these groups will work together. But that is not what I really like to do. I like to figure out what type of permissions Hervik has. And so I select the system user Hervik and say all groups should be considered. That means the direct assigned and the indirect assigned. Here we are. That is the complete dialog. If I only take the, di the direct assigned groups, I will only get the first row. That means the directly assigned groups. And then with next, the simulator starts working. And now it puts together all the different permissions and entitlements assigned to the Hervik somehow. And it shows me as well um, the result set. That means the resulting set of permissions and assigned entitlements Hervik has. And once the wizard ends its calculation work and I click on finish, you can easily see what such a super user makes more or less to a master of disaster because that person has more or less, that account has more or less access to everything and that makes it so dangerous. You see as well here in the summary that all of these groups are considered. There are many permissions there. There are a lot of clauses as well and not existing clauses, which is much more dangerous. And at the end, I have more or less nearly all permissions are possible to do something. And with that, I like to do the simulation again, but this time I like uh, just to start the simulation for my test account, which will be much faster and I think easier for us to see the result. So I select my test user, all groups, next, and the simulation starts again. And after the wizard finished its work and we can just go into, you will see a little bit less permissions. And the reason for that is this specific account. It's not a super user. For example, if we switch to person, then we should see what we have configured. And this is the simulation. We can as well switch to the simulation view here. And you see that, for example, for the person table, all the flags are checked. That is what we did. And you see here the conditions. And if I open the conditions, you find our condition we set as well in a way of the other stuff uh, that comes from the system. And for example, we do have permissions on central account. We don't have permissions for the other flags. We do have permissions for the first name. We do have as well permissions for the internal name. That comes somewhere from the system. The reason for is the internal name is the display name of people. Yeah, So we have to have viewing permissions there. The same, so the last name is something we set. And then we see a lot of permissions on the other objects. The reason for is that we have not changed there something. And these permissions come together with the employee uh, permissions for the related objects to the employees. For example, person in department is the membership of the person in a specific department and so on. So that means you can use that simulation to figure out at the end what 
happens. That means what is configured for a selected permission set, for example, for the permissions of that test user. Any other combinations are possible as well. You will get as well the simulation and last but not least, it is necessary to end the simulation because only if the simulation ends, you are able to see the old overview again that we saw in the past. This is the permission simulation that might be helpful. It is depending on all the rules we discussed and I think that should be enough for now.